and welcome back to Ballistic Coalition. So today we're going to be taking a look at some BXS, BXS slugs. All right, these are for hunting whitetail deer, mule deer. They're a one ounce Sabot slug, solid copper, tipped bullet. Let me show you what these look like up close. They're pretty, pretty gnarly round. We're going to be testing it out uh, accuracy wise at 25 and 50 yards. I have my gun sighted in with 300 grain Sabot, so we'll see where it's landing. Uh, sighted in with a compared to a 300 grain and then I got a reactive target over there I'll show you that in just a second all right so here's the setup we got for today we got a used piece of cardboard it's only got shot up with some 223 though so we're going to be able to tell the difference of those pinprick holes compared to this thumb size hole from these slugs and then we got this awesome reactive target we're going to be testing out today and seeing what we have happen so wait till the end of the video to see that. Okay, so we're gonna go and shoot a Hornady SST slug first, 300 grain, cause that's what I have this sighted in for. We're gonna see if my firearm's still sighted in before I go and shoot the BXS slug. But you can see there's a substantial difference between the size of these rounds and the wad they need to send it down range. So first we're gonna do a sight in, make sure that it's accurate, Hornady SST. I'd say that's close enough. Hit right there. Okay, so now we're gonna go and test the BXS one ounce slug. We're gonna see what we got here. Here's the Hornady, there's the BSX, circle that. Okay, we're gonna go and do one more BSX slug, 25 yards. That's easily three and a half inches right there. That could be me. I'm gonna go and put one more BSX slug down range just to see how it's doing. If that was me pulling it or not. So there's the next shot. I think it's safe to say I pulled it a little bit. They're all pretty accurate. There's the SST and then there's the two BSX slugs. We're only 25 yards though. Okay, so now we're out here at the 50 yard. We're gonna see what these BSX slugs do at the 50. I was sighted in at 50 with this, so we'll see how it does with these slugs. So 50 yards with the BSX slug. Pretty good group. I could honestly move it over because I'm aiming right here. Okay, so I just adjusted the sight a little bit for these BSX slugs and we're gonna we're gonna see how that does hopefully i i adjusted it the right way it's been a while since i used this scope and you know it could always be a little bit confusing of which direction it, it actually wants you to turn it to go like this one's telling you left is that way my red dot always shows you what way right is so it could get confusing
Okay, so I moved it the right direction. Now that's where we impacted, which is about where we wanna wanna be hitting. Damn wind's blowing. Blowing my target down. Alright. Marked pretty good. Time for the grand finale. Okay, so the grand finale, we got the uh, BXS slugs. We're gonna be shooting this thing from pretty close. I got a GoPro set up over there, so we get two angles of this in slow motion. Let's see what we got. Oh, well that wasn't as exciting as I thought. Let's see what the damage is. It's milk. Not really. It looks like milk. Let's set this up. It really just expanded the can a ton. I'm assuming that is the entry because I aimed right there and that's the blowout. So the water significantly slowed it down. I figured this can would just peel open. But now, and I just realized I didn't have my GoPro on. So the grand finale wasn't as grand as I thought it was going to be. But we set something else up down there. I got my GoPro cameras on now, so we're going to get some slow-mo action shots of it. But if you'd like to help support the channel, I got my Amazon affiliate links down below. These 12-gauge slugs cost about as much as a, a 50 caliber round right now. So, thank you. All right, so here's what happened to our target. I entered a little bit low, probably because I didn't do any holdover or anything. Shredded out the backside of it. This is kind of what I was expecting was gonna happen to that big five gallon can, but that didn't exactly happen that way. But anyway, to, to show your support for the second amendment, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, comment down below to fuel the algorithm.